Good evening, Calvary. Thank you for joining us for our Wednesday evening Bible study. I hope everyone is doing well. We've been praying for each and every one of you, and I want you to know that from my family to yours, we love and appreciate each of you, and we have been praying for you, that the blessings of the Lord would be upon you, be upon your family, that the hand of the Lord would be upon us, that the Lord would keep us and protect us, and uh, I'm just believing that the Lord is going to do great things even in the uncertain times that we are currently living in. If you turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 10, and I promise I'm not going to be very long today, but I feel like the Lord dropped a little thought into my mind, and I want to share that with you. So probably more aptly stated as a Wednesday evening devotional maybe than a Wednesday evening Bible study. But if you turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse number 35, it states, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. If you look at this verse in the English Standard Edition, it states it like this, Therefore do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. If you look at that word, confidence, and that's what I want to focus on here for just the next few moments, but if you take that word, confidence, and you look at the definition of that word, it is the belief that one can rely on something or someone to define confidence maybe in a more compact manner. It's to have a firm trust. There are a lot of things that are happening in our world today that would like to shake our confidence. But I want to encourage each and every one of you that even though our world may be living in uncertain times and we have a lot of questions and concerns. Do not allow your confidence to be shaken. Do not allow your trust to be misplaced because if you will have confidence in the right things, then there will be a great reward for you. In the book of Psalms, chapter 118, beginning at verse number 6, the Bible says, The Lord is on my side. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Verse number 16 goes on to say, The Lord is my strength and song. He is also become my salvation. And then this psalm closes out with verse number 29 with a word of encouragement. And it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, and His mercy endureth forever. I want to encourage you tonight. The Lord is on our side. We can put our confidence and we can put our trust in the Lord. And if we put our confidence and our trust in Him, if we put our confidence in things that can be trusted, Psalms chapter 20 and verse number 7 says that some trust in chariots and others trust in horses. But we will remember or we will put our faith, our confidence, our trust in the name of the Lord. And I, I just want to tell you that the promises that God has given to us, they are still yea and a 
men. They will come to pass. They will come to fruition. They will come to be a benefit to us. We can put our faith and we can put our confidence in the promises of God. One of those promises that I want to share with you is found in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse number 14. It says this, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, if they will turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. It's a promise that's given to us that we can put our confidence in. If we do our part, God will do His. Don't throw away your confidence today. Don't allow your trust to be misplaced If you will dig into the Word of God, if you will take some time to pray and to seek His face, you will find something and you will find someone that you can have confidence in. I'm thankful tonight. I'm so thankful that I can have a firm trust, a firm trust, in the word of the Lord. I'm thankful tonight that I can have a confidence in who my God is and that all things will work together for my good as long as I have my faith and my trust and my confidence grounded in the word of the Lord. Your kingdom first Beyond the barren place 